hello and welcome to the channel today in this tutorial we'll draw these model from a start card cam site these will be a practical exercise in free card and if you want this one you can download it in this site here studycardcam.com and you can download it on my grab card site so okay now we go to free card and what to do in this start page is to create a new document and now here select part design workbench create body and a new sketch in xy plane okay and what you'll do in this first sketch is to do two rectangles with these dimensions here so here we click in this icon zoom out and now select this rounded rectangle tool and here we draw this rectangle and next here click in this icon again and select this tool and draw this rectangle and what to do next is to select this match constraint and now we constrain these two points here to this origin point and now these two center points to this origin point okay and next here we'll set the dimension for these rectangles so here we see these horizontal dimension and this vertical dimension and this fillet here so first here we select this tool and here we set seventh okay and next we select this tool here select this point and this point and we set this dimension and now we select this vertical distance tool select these two points and we set 300 okay and next we select this equal constraint make these two lines equal and now these two lines okay and now we have one degree of freedom so what you do is to full constraint this sketch is to okay here we see this dimension here 20 so what to do is to select this tool here and now we select this point of this rectangle and now this point and here we'll set 20 millimeters and now leave the sketch press home and go to this path tool okay here the length will be here we can see the 3.5 so here we'll change to the 3.5 and now we'll set the angle of this pad here so here we have this angle 100 so here what to do is to first we check this option reverse it and here we'll set this formula okay so click ok now and next here we'll do we'll do this fillet operation in this edge so what to do here is to select this bottom face and now go to fillet tool and here we'll set okay here we have a range of 10 for this arc here for so for this arc we'll set 10 plus 3.5 and now click okay and next here we'll do this pocket so what to do here is to select this face and go to thickness tool okay here select make thickness inward and we'll change the thickness here to 3.5 so change here to 3.5 okay click okay and this shape is not correct so what to do is to change the size of this fillet here so here we can change to maybe 15 millimeters and now click ok now we make this thickness visible and now this shape is correct okay and next here we'll draw a sketch for create this part here so what to do here is to create a new sketch in yz plane 
switch to section view and now select this rectangle tool and we draw this rectangle and next here we set the dimension for this rectangle so here we have a vertical dimension of 3.5 and this horizontal dimension here so first here we select this tool and here we set 3.5 and now for this line we set 20 and now leave this sketch and we go to model and now is with this sketch selected we click ring click on mouse and go to attachment editor click on this button and now select this edge here and here we we'll change the x direction to 3.5 Okay, so and next click OK. And now here we go to this pad operation, click in this arrow and we copy this sketch here. Ring click on mouse and go to this copy option. And now here we select only this sketch and OK. And now click in this icon. And next here we drag the sketch into this body here and now space bar to make this sketch visible and now double click in this sketch and what we'll do in the sketch is to okay here first we'll delete this dimension here so select this dimension and delete this dimension and now select this tool and extract this arc here and now we select this arc and this we select these two arcs and now this equal constraint and leave this sketch here press home and next what to do is to select this sketch here and go to this pipe tool click in this button here and now go to model and select this sketch and now we have this now we come back here and click ok and now we have this part here and next here we'll do this fillet with this ridge here, ridge of 5. So here we select this edge and go to fillet tool. We set a ridge of 5 millimeters and now we click in this button here and we add this edge. And now click OK. Press home. And what we'll do next here is to, okay, here we have this fillet with a ridge of 1 millimeters. So here we select this edge and we go to fillet tool. Click in this button here and now we add this edge. And now okay. And next here what we'll do is these pockets here. So here we'll create a new sketch to draw the circle here with this diameter here 17. So we select this space here and create a new sketch. And what to do here first is to select this tool here and extract this edge and now select the circle tool, draw this cycle and now we set the diameter here to 17. Okay, and next here we select this tool again and we extract this edge here and this edge. And next select this horizontal distance tool, select this edge, now this tool here and select this edge. And now double click in this dimension and here we set a name for this link here, we set horizontal. Now click OK and double click in this dimension and here we'll set vertical. OK and now leave the sketch and we go to pocket tool. Click OK and now go to model and select this pocket here and select this tool here, mold transform. And what to do here is to right click on mouse and go to this option, linear pattern. And 
he will set x axis and reverse duration and now click in this icon here and we'll set okay click okay and here we go to model click in this arrow and now we'll rename the sketch here to path okay and now we go to tasks and and now we click in this icon here and we set path click in this option and now constraints and here we'll set horizontal and now click ok and here we'll change the number of occurrence to 9 we change here to 9 and ok and next here we click ring click on the mouse and choose this option linear portal and now here we set y axis and reverse duration and now click in this icon here and here will set F select this option and now constraints and here we set vertical and click OK and now we'll change the number of occurrence here to 6 we change here to 6 and OK and now click OK and as you can see now we have this part here and this model is finished so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please leave a like